one thing, I guess for John, you've been off to a phenomenal start. Just like, where where has your head been at as you've kind of started off the year? And just what do you feel like has really been working for you so far? Uh, well, to begin the year, I did a few things like mechanically and a lot of stuff in the off season to prepare me to where I am right now. Um, and that's obviously helped a lot with weight, movement, um, how I come set, as simple as that. And I think that's just helped a lot. And being comfortable on this team around the guys has been a plus. I guess just for Mason, if I'm right, this is the first time we're talking to you. That's right. Just the, I mean, just so far being with this program, just what has the experience been like? And then just what have you enjoyed the most about being here and the start of the season? Man, that's a tough question. <laughs> um, it's uh, definitely exceeded all my expectations. Um, it's always been my dream to come and play here at Auburn. Uh, and so it's kind of been just surreal from the moment I got on campus, getting to wear an Auburn jersey, I look in the mirror, I'm like, man, I got an Auburn shirt on, this is so cool. But really just being a part of the guys and the coaching staff, it's um, everything, it's just, uh, it really does, does mean more, like how corny that sounds, but like here at Auburn, like the coaches are just so intentional with all their players and um, all the players are just uh, so accepting and loving, like just coming in like new guy. Um, and it, it's just been a blast all the way around. Right. Um, Mason, do you like being a guy who can hit a home run or, or lay down a butt or do some different things, you know, when you're at the plate? Yeah, absolutely. That's uh, that's kind of been um, my goal, uh, or I guess going into every game at Jacksonville is uh, if I can get a drag bunt down and a home run the same game, then I'll I'll go to sleep pretty easy, easily. But uh, um, Bunning's been a part of my game for as long as I can remember. Um, my dad instilled that in me just because of my speed. And then just after getting older and stronger, uh, the long ball has started to come a little more frequently. And John, how do you feel about this pitching staff? And I guess how's the team sort of um, helping uh, Joseph sort of you know work through everything he's going through to sort of find his stuff again? Yeah, not pitching for a year is tough. And I think we need to. I, I think we've done a good job of trying to like welcome him back into the staff, but we can also do a better job of that too. Um, out of the bullpen though, I think a lot of us know our roles early on, and that's helped on when people go in, knowing, preparing their so themselves. And I think just knowing when you go in the game has helped mentally. And a lot of guys are just fitting in really comfortably. Yeah, Mason, the, the, the lineup is, has moved around. I mean, most of you guys are, are out there on, the, on a regular basis. <laughs> Uh, do you have any preference of, you know, where you hit in the lineup? And just talk about what you feel about the potential of this uh, uh, this batting lineup. Man, uh, this lineup is special, that's for sure. Um, in the fall, we could definitely see the potential of it. Uh, but I think we're just seeing the just the fruits of all the hard work um, throughout the whole lineup. I love really just being anywhere, either at the top of the lineup or bottom of the lineup. Um, that's where I feel, because I know, I know I'm, I like putting down the bunt, and so I feel like you want to uh, – the more power hitters in the middle of the lineup. So I love being at the bottom or top. Uh, but I mean, I guess y'all have seen just throughout the past couple of games, we have, when we have some of our best players have an off day, we have other guys pick them up and go three for four. Like, we're just having huge games. And so um, there's really, a, um, I don't know, just every, everyone in the lineup is just can, can be explosive and uh, don't have to have everyone or all of our best players be hot and. Um, or having everyone having to be a, have an amazing game, we can just, uh, that's, that's one awesome thing about being in the lineup is I know I can trust everyone else around me. I don't have to play out of my shoes. It's, everyone does their job and does their role, and I know we're going to be successful. Mason, between you, uh, Cooper at short, Derek, uh, Javon, uh, I know Christian fits into that DH role a lot. You know, Carson's kind of the back end anchor on the rotation. A lot of new guys just making an impact. I know we're pretty much into the thick of the season now, but just like from your perspective, how seamless was the was the transition of all these you know kind of new guys like yourself coming in and just sort of finding their spot in this team? You know, it was awesome. I think a lot of that comes from just all the transfers being just veteran players and coming from um, just having so much experience, like Javon, uh, Fabian, and Cooper Wise, who's been. Um, this is fifth year playing baseball. Everyone's just veterans, so we all come in, come to, come into it together. Just know, like, all right, we know kind of what the, the player that we are, and so we just uh, um, don't gotta change who we are, and we just all come together. And it's just it really has been kind of seamless. And they're all just amazing guys, and so 
Uh, it's been easy just to get along and root for one another. And so we've just kind of been, and it's also one key thing is uh, just being able to learn from each other because we all come from different backgrounds and teams where we've learned so much. And so it's been huge to just be talking through philosophies and that stuff. Um, um, it's really strengthened, I feel like, all of us as, uh, as players. Well, all right, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.